damn phones. Babylon can't crack the coat. Used to sit out, stop. Yo, what's going on guys? Dark Turtle Bull back here, and today, this is my own gameplay, watch this. Oh shoot, we're moving myself, so today we're actually going to be playing live. I haven't played Call of Duty Black Ops in a while, I haven't played Call of Duty in a while, I haven't touched my Xbox in a while. But today, we're actually going to be talking about a pretty serious topic that probably a lot of you guys, you know, you've experienced one time in your life, at least maybe five times, it's happened to you. Today, we're going to be talking about lying, and I don't like getting lied to. Now, but before, before any of this, uh, today is actually Sunday. It was probably one of the best Sundays I had in like over a month. It was a very productive Sunday. I was able to record two videos and edit one video. Two of the videos are already edited, so I have those two set up. Uh, I know by uh, tonight, I need to record another video for the Halloween special, which is tomorrow. Although this video probably came out like a week after Halloween. But uh, it's some good stuff. Because like the thing is, I'm at, I'm at the point of this week that uh i just have like so much video ideas that like to come out and it, it's really cool and th this is like the times that i really enjoy about it and the thing is when you're a youtuber when i wanted to become when i wanted to make youtube videos my, my first thought was oh i can get a bunch of subscribers and they'll continue coming back and watching my channel now that was pretty much everyone's ideal dream of youtube to everyone just keeps coming back and watching what you do so far that obviously has been happening but the thing is that I've only realized, like a couple months ago, honestly, it's so much bigger than them just coming back and watching. They actually support you. When I mean support, I'm not just talking about like they, they go to the comment section and write, uh, oh, whatever, I support you. No, but they actually go and uh, do other stuff outside of it. For example, around two months ago, there's actually a guy that uh, I try to collab with and he like straight up disrespected me. He, uh, he said uh, that uh, I, I would wish to collab with him because he's so much better than me. Although I did have more subs than him by like 400. He just hit like 100 subs. And I had way more I had way more subs than this man. And I offered for a collab and he said he wouldn't do it. And then I made a video on it. And then I actually, like, I would say, a good, I think it was like five people. Five, three or five people that were subscribers of mine went to his channel and straight up just GG'd him. He, they, they, he, he was like, he, he was done. He couldn't do it. He's like, wow. Uh, I like I don't even know what happened. How did how did how why are these guys being so mean to me? And it, it was actually it felt great that uh, these people actually like cared enough. I, I didn't even link his channel or anything. They just found this channel by himself by what what I said his name was. I think his name was like it pop tart. Uh, they, all they had they typed that in and then they actually got out of their way to um to protect me pretty much. And it's very it, it feel it feels cool honestly. Uh, but getting back to today's topic, we're gonna be talking about getting lied to. So in history class, we actually have an assignment due on Tuesday. And pretty much what we got to do, we got to make a movie. We have to make a seven-minute movie about the War of 1812, which is like a historical event of like a war, obviously. And pretty much what we had to do, we had to get in the groups of twos, twos or threes, and uh, film. So the, we didn't get time to film during class. The assignment's due on Tuesday. Well, from the time I'm recording this, it's due in three days from now. And uh, my friend that I actually was uh, partnered with, he, he was actually supposed to come today. Today on Sunday around 1 o'clock. Now it's 5.40 and he never showed up obviously but the thing was uh you got the option to either work by yourself or work with a friend actually you didn't even get the option to work by yourself if uh if you just decided not to work with him you can but you got signed up in a group but if you didn't want to work with him you didn't have to so today we, we made the script and everything the only problem was is uh, if you guys ever had this type of problem in school is uh if you're the you're probably going to be like the only one that actually does the work and then they just piggyback right on you but like this time wasn't going to have that honestly so this guy's a very good friend of mine i knew him for around four years now and um pretty much what he did he told me on uh friday he said that he's going to come over my house on saturday we made plans for, so we can film this thing but the thing is if you work in a group of two you have to make a seven seven minute video if you guys have any idea, seven seven minute videos are so long, you guys. Seven minute video is completely, that's just insane. It take the whole day out of editing everything out that you don't need. It, it, seven minutes is just insanely, insanely a lot. And the thing is, she actually graded the script and the storyboard. If you guys know what a storyboard is, it's uh, pretty much, it, it's just like a little picture. What the frick is happening? Oh, it's pretty much pictures of what your scenes are going to be shot of. And uh, that was pretty much what a storyboard is. And the thing is, I did the whole entire storyboard and the whole entire script pretty much. But the thing was, that was also a little bit weird, was my script, apparently it wasn't even capable of getting up to seven minutes. My script was only capable of getting up to two minutes, two and a half minutes. So um, that was obviously going to be a problem if he did come over. But luckily, I mean, not luckily, but uh, I guess things turned out the way it did. So what happened was it was around one o'clock today. My family went to go to the they, they went to some garden amusement park type thing. 
uh, today around like one o'clock for uh, like a family friend's birthday. He, he's like, I think he just turned like three today. But uh, so it was his birthday today. And I actually skipped out of going there because he, my friend was supposed to come over and we were supposed to film. So I skipped out on his birthday and he doesn't even live here. He lives like a four hour drive away from me. I skipped out of going to going to hang out with like my family friends so I can film this thing and he didn't even end up showing up. He kept telling me on text that he's busy and I was just I'm I'm not buying that. You're you're there's no way you're busy. You do squat every weekend. So it's it's around eleven thirty right now. I text him again. I so right now it's about eleven thirty and I text him, yo, I'm I honestly can't do this. I gotta film. I, I have to go to a barbecue soon. And uh, I just got to film this. So you better come in the next like hour or I'm um, or you're, you're working by yourself. You're going to have to make a whole new script. You're going to need to work, start from scratch because I already set you up with the script and the storyboard. I already gave you those two points. So I already gave you those three points. So you better hurry up and like come to my house because I know for a fact you are not busy at all. He, he didn't open the text. He didn't like reply to it or anything. And then I'm like, you know what, whatever, fine. I text him again saying, all right, I'm working by myself. You can go create your own storyboard and script and all of that because I'm done. This is due the day after tomorrow. The day after, uh, the day tomorrow is going to be Monday. Monday, obviously we got school and I don't have time for that. I got, I think I got like a couple tests to study for, for Tuesday. I don't have time. So I got to edit it today, get the video out today and all that kind of stuff. So I ended up actually making, I think I, uh, I work till I think four o'clock ish. So 1.30 to four. I completely made the video. I made it was a three minute video. I completely made the video, edited the video, and it was actually a pretty solid editing job. Now, if you guys actually want to see it, it's 10 likes on this today's episode because uh, it's very cringy, not going to lie. So then, as soon as I, I as my video was rendering, uh, I was actually able to get it to exactly three minutes and zero zero seconds. It might even be two minutes and 59 seconds. If it is, that's a fat GG because the teacher grades a little bit hard, so she might give me that L. But hopefully it actually is three minutes flat. I'm pretty sure it was though. So then as soon as the video was actually done rendering, he said, why would I make my own script? I had at to do bro and got none of these texts. So he just told me, he just, he just said he, he was doing stuff. He, he, he had to, he had stuff to do. And then I just said, I just, I just finished, uh, I just finished the, the movie. So, uh, you're, you're on your own pretty much. And he says, I thought you went to a barbecue. And then I said it was going at 3.30, but apparently I actually got to stay home from it because my actual friend, like my family friend wasn't going to be there. And it was just full of everyone else. It was like, everyone was like 20 years old and stuff. And I didn't want to go to that anyways. I only if he went, I would have went. And I actually got to make this video and uh, finish all my homework catch up for Sunday. Here's where the title actually comes in. All right. So as soon as he tells me that I quickly go on Snapchat, scroll down to his name tag and see if he actually posted anything. And, and look what he posted. He, he posted this video. He posted a video of him and his other friend in a car driving together. They were just listening to like some music in the background and they're just talking about whatever. So uh, he, he did that pretty much. And uh, I mean, he, he did lie to me. He said he had stuff to do. And I, from the beginning, I knew he didn't have anything to do. He had nothing to do. And then obviously then I go on Snapchat and see that he was driving in a car with his friend. And it said 17 minutes ago. So he, he, he rathered of... Um, he, he rather, like, went with his friend to the park or whatever uh, instead of actually filming this thing and getting, like, probably, like, an easy, I don't know, A- minus if, if she doesn't grade so hard. But it just, it, it, I, it, like, I knew he would have done something like this. I knew from the start when I picked him he would say something like that. Obviously, he, he wasn't even planning to show up anyways. He was probably going to say, oh, yo, I'll come to your house tomorrow, but tomorrow it's due the day after, and it's a, so what, we're going to have two hours to film, and I still got to edit this stuff now. So I was about to give him that free whatever grade that I got and just say he tagged along with me but this time I wasn't actually going to do that because I filmed the whole thing by myself and it was actually the the fattest hassle because the editing was insanely hard if I still have the video up I can actually take a picture yeah here we go yeah I, have, I still have it up I can show you the picture of how long it straight up took me to edit it was so long uh, I think I think that's enough ranting for today if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more please freaking smash that like button and also tell me if you guys ever actually uh encountered someone that does the same thing like that but uh anyways guys uh yeah I hope you enjoyed Look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake, cause I don't fucking care